Hey Knuckle Draggers, Jack here with Sarge Survival. <clears throat> Sorry it's been a couple weeks since I posted any videos for uh, survival gear, but we're going to pick up right where we left off. Alright, the first thing we're going to look at today is uh, Knife Sharper by Bora Whetstone. I paid about $9 for this when I bought it. I prefer these, uh, as you see. Knife Sharpener dual sided on there. And this is one I bought a while back. It's been quite a while back. Uh, this one's made by Berkeley. Let's see if I can get it on camera there. Made by Berkeley. All right, differences. This is great. The sharpening stone, the whetstone itself is awesome for if your blade's got nicks in it, scratches, if you, it really hasn't had a blade on it in the past, so not really sharp. Some knives will come and have uh, flatter blades on them. Awesome. It'll take the nick, you can sharpen the nicks out of the blade, you can sharpen burrs off the blade and things like that with the actual whetstone. The, uh, the one by Berkeley, however, a lot of people have seen these. These are the, the ceramic ones. It's got the uh, ceramic teeth on the inside. Uh, truthfully, I found that these are really only good keeping an edge on a knife that already has an edge on it. So if you have a knife that you, you don't really do a whole lot of work with and you're just wanting to keep it sharp, these with the ceramic blades, they work perfect for keeping an already edge on your knife. Um, as far as taking nicks out of blades and burrs off of blades, not really great for that. Um, just kind of sharpen over the, the nicks you have in your blade. It doesn't really take your blade down to where the nicks at so you can make your blade easier. This, however, will as long as you use it the correct way. Um, again, uh, the Berkeley one, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I've had it for some years now. Uh, I had a smaller whetstone, but I decided to purchase a large one. That way it lasts a little bit longer because you use a whetstone after so long and they wear just like anything else. Uh, this, however, you just continue to clean the ceramic, the ceramic edges off on the inside. Pretty soft plants on that. Just put your knife in, pull it through. Uh, next item we're gonna look at. Next item I'm gonna look at that we just unboxed came from Amazon. It is a uh, burner. I want to say it was by. I'm not sure if I don't remember who it was by. Uh, I go out to the field a lot. A lot of times it's you can't have fires where we go in the woods and stuff like that. So you look at other ways to uh, to cook. Um, propane tanks fairly inexpensive for a two pack of Coleman tanks. I think it cost me like seven dollars, and uh, they'll fit right in my bag. So I decided to buy a new burner for it. As you see, it screws right on the top of the propane tank. Got these little teeth here. Easy to spread, flip out. You can actually flip the teeth up on this to make your burner a little bit wider so that it'll it'll grip the pan better. It has an electric ignition start on it. So uh, the push button igniter on there sparks it a little bit easier than having to stick your lighter up there. So if you, if you forget your lighter, bam, it's already got an igniter on it. And your uh, valve over here, See if you see that you can control the gas flow from the can itself to the burner. Uh, a lot of them, the one I, the one I use right now doesn't have the the adjustment on here. I mean it does, but it was a cheap one from Walmart. I think it was made by Coleman. Um, has lasted me for years. I probably used it for five six years now. Same burner, never had any issues out of it. But after a while, the uh, the valve on it kind of wears out. So. You either get full flow or just whatever it's set on when you attach the tank to it. The good thing about this is it, it comes with its own case, plus, I mean, it folds down super small. So you gotta stick this in your pack. Really convenient, super easy to stow. Plus the uh, the water, it's in a waterproof case here. That works out really good. So like I said, I think this was, uh, I'll, I'll include it in the description at the bottom when I'm done for the items for the sharpening stone itself. Um, as I said, the red one, I can look, I'll look up one on Berkeley and see what the uh, length to it is so I can attach it there so you guys got an idea what the price is. Uh, the burner, like I said, I like that it's in a waterproof case. If it gets uh, water in there, if it gets dropped in the water or something, it's not going to really mess the burner up at all. Next thing we're going to look at, a slingshot. So, been watching quite a bit of other people do survival videos out there on the internet and stuff and uh, saw that actually a lot of them are starting to transition over slingshots and things like that for hunting. This one I, I paid like $12 for 
It says sniper on it. Um, comes with a little Allen key and some, some sight wires there in case you look at the top here. See if you can see that there's sight wires on there for different distances and on the edges here and here, you actually have sights on it. So what you do is uh, you take this, you're gonna loosen it up. I don't know, yeah, this one's actually came to me broke. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, they said the one was already broke, so that's kind of shitty, but pardon my French on that. That's actually no good for me, so this one is actually not gonna be super good for the side on that side, but that's fine. It's got a side on the other side. But anyway, you're gonna loosen that up. Once you loosen it up, you push this back, and that's gonna allow me to put one of the bands inside this groove and then tighten it back down. As I said, I'm only gonna be able to use the side on one side because the plastic they sent me on here is broke on the one side. You see that? So I guess you get what you pay for. I paid $11 for it. <clears throat> There's some on there that are much more expensive than $11. I believe Fowler makes some too. He, uh, he has another survival channel on here. His look like they are pretty top notch on there. So might be something you look at when you're uh, looking to get a slingshot if you do decide to go get a slingshot. I, I do kind of like this one, the uh, the way it's shaped and things makes it really form fitting your hand. Makes it look like it'd be pretty quick on the draw for when you're actually shooting stuff. Uh, what I recommend is steel shot bearings. You can pretty well get on anywhere. Amazon, Wish, any of those. I believe on Wish, a lot of them you just pay shipping for them. They come in different sizes like six, eight, 10 millimeter, things like that. Um, you can get on Amazon and order them. I believe they're like ten dollars for a hundred to five hundred in there. It really you just got like I said, with anything you're looking for, you just got to make sure you research it and see what some of the sellers on there are uh, selling them for. Some of them are going to vary because of shipping and things like that. Again, though, private contact company let them know, hey, you shipped me one. It's broke. It was broke when I got it. They're pretty good a lot of times about replacing your item or refunding your money, whichever one's more convenient. And the last thing I'm gonna open right here, I ordered a survival shovel. Um, being military, I really prefer the e tool type because uh, we are not the durable. They're really durable, they last quite a while. Um, easily stowed, you can attach to the outside of your bag. Um, later on, probably in the next video, I'll go ahead and I'll break out the, the new pack that I got. This one will be a little bit more difficult because uh, it's only got a belt loop. I'm sure I could sew some molly in the back of it and attach to my, my uh, bag back here, but we're looking at it anyway. Um, so, comes in a cheaper nylon case. I probably got a military one around here somewhere that's cheap and <clears throat> be easy to throw in there. Just like any e tool, folds up. Pretty small, all right? This isn't one of the larger ones. I ordered a small one. I don't really need anything huge to go on the outside of my back. If you look at the side, it's got a saw blade on there, but I can tell you right now, the saw blade is not sharpened at all. As you see, all the teeth are flat on it. Uh, they don't even really come to a point. <clears throat> a lot of the other ones you'll see, they'll have a blade on the opposite side. I can still do this with this, and this can still place a, an edge on the opposite side where I can take it outside and hit it up with my grinder. Um, probably start it on my grinder and then finish it off on there. That way it uh, doesn't do very much damage to my stones. I ordered this one because not only is it a shovel, but it's also, as I loosen the head up here, it can be used as a pick as well. It's got a uh, additional pick handle on it. So if I wanted, I could just put the pick side up or as I'll show you, you can adjust it to where you have bolt out. So, <clears throat> fairly inexpensive. As I said, it's got a pick, pick on there. Fairly inexpensive overall. Um, definitely recommend this. Like I said, I prefer the military e-tool style shovels on there. They're easily stowed, fold down, or can be condensed into little or almost no space. And let's just face it, the more, the more room you can save in your pack, the better. 
because you never know exactly what you're going to have to put in there. But as you see, it folds down into pretty well nothing. All right. And then we can shove it right back in the bag. But again, before you buy anything on Amazon or Wish or eBay or wherever you're shopping, just make sure you research it. A lot of the times, um, just going to be honest, this place, they, I didn't see a, there's a lot of reviews on there, but not a lot in terms of what people were saying. They say, oh, this item sucked, or this item was horrible, this item was awesome, can't wait to use it. If you're going to get on there and leave feedback to these companies, at least leave feedback that they can, uh, they can better their products or find out, you know, what people are looking for or even how they can improve the products they already have. Because if these people don't know, hey, because this plastic is so thin cut, you can see where it's cracked there. Because it's so thin cut there, you know, maybe, hey, we only put a side on one side or we increase the diameter on the opposite side of this cut that way they don't break off. Or maybe, hey, we look at the way we're shipping items and we look at a different way to package them so that uh, damage isn't getting done to them. But when you're leaving feedback for these people, make sure you're leaving constructive feedback that way, hey, they know what they're doing wrong, what they're doing right, how to improve their stuff. Um, with any of it again, I'll bring up some of the items we looked at again. Sharpening stone, I'll include it in the description at the bottom. It was made by Bora. It says aluminum oxide sh sharpening stone on there. Like I said, I believe I paid around $9 for it. There's some cheaper ones on there. There's definitely some more expensive ones on there. I kind of went in the middle when I got it. Same with the, uh, the uh, camping stove burner that goes on the uh, propane tank. There's cheaper ones on there. I believe I paid $14, $15 for this. Um, definitely worth it. Uh, got on there. I'll include the link, but it says right now it says currently unavailable for the item. I'm sure we'll get them back on there. They're probably just out of stock at the moment. Uh, next item we looked at was, again, the slingshot. I'll include it in the description on there. I'm not telling nobody to not go to this company. Maybe you'll have a better experience than I did with uh, ordering it. Um, I'm in Germany right now, so it's been through quite a bit of shippers before it made it here. And we all know how a lot of the shipping companies are. They just kind of polish your boxes wherever they want and stuff gets laid on it. And the uh, last item we looked at was the e-tool. Um, we're going to continue to build our, our survival pack here. Um, in the future, I'm going to, next video, we'll break out the brand new pack that I got. Uh, take a look at some of the uh, hiking boots that I ordered that definitely trump out the uh, hiking shoes I bought from Wish. A lot more pricey, but in the same sense, I've been wearing them around, done quite a few hikes in them, did some running in them and stuff. Excellent boots. A little bit on the heavy side, but I can live with a little bit on the heavy side. Um, we'll go into that more in the next video. We still have quite a few items. If you look up above me here on the shelf, these are still items we didn't open for Wish. And I got a whole corner full from Amazon that we still haven't opened. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see me open in the future, anything you'd like to see me review, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. On top of the uh, survival videos, I've also been getting on here and I've been posting some, uh, some guitar covers. Like I said before, I'm still learning, so bear with me. Anything you like, let me know you like it. If you don't like it, if you don't like what I'm doing, just tell me something else you'd rather see. But thank you all. You guys have a great weekend.